Hi guys, first of all, we are in the Singapore Blockchain Week and we have met our partner Jams. They are building an e-sports hotel in Singapore. So let's speak with uh, their team. Uh, he's Andy, uh, the CEO of Jams and he's Mike from Jams team. So guys, can you just please introduce yourself a bit? Yeah, sure. But before I start, right, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, my solution manager, Mike Pang, for single handling this whole event at Singapore Blockchain Week. So I think it's been a great success. Uh, we have got Singapore Ministry ministers coming to this event today and uh, it's such a great exposure for us, not because of our projects, but it allowed us to really introduce what is blockchain and esports to people who are keen into this market. And not only uh, uh, GEMS is here to present about GEMS esports, there's also other projects here along with other blockchain companies. Together, we are forming this consortium to help to educate nurture and educate blockchain to the group of interested people. Main mission is to put Web2 games and Web3 games together. So once we formalize and we have enough partners and game publishers to join our platform, the next thing is we can offer a one-stop destination for gamers in this sharing economy. We have heard like you are also opening a Jams Esports Hotel that will be first in the Singapore. Yes, oh. we are very proud to say that and I think Mike has visited the place. Yeah, so maybe absolutely. Mike, you want to share with them yeah. yeah, so of course it's going to be in Bugis Village. Um, I'm, I'll show you some pictures later that you can share to your community. But yeah, like you said, it's going to be the first ever esports hotel in Singapore. Okay. So fully equipped with the latest tech, the latest gaming equipment. Uh, right. You name it, we've got it, right? They talked a lot about, they had a speech. We just added an interview of him giving a speech. He will tell us about like how esports and gaming industry changing the game fire world in the web 3 specifically. So what are your uh, thoughts on GameFi in the Web3 space? Yeah, so uh, over the past six months, uh, we did not change a little bit. In fact, we have found new ways and new strategy to migrate and onboard mass users, which is the current gamer, over to Web3. And when I do an eSports event and tournament, it means that I can do a lot of games. I can do uh, CSGO, Dota 2, uh, Valorant, League of Legends, right? Where there's a big uh, gamers that is playing this game still. But when we do an eSports tournament and we do a game that is akin to the current gamers, right? What we are doing is asking them to come and play. Ultimately, what we can achieve is by distributing our prize money powered by Jam's eSports 3.0 platform. And that is something we feel is one of the uh, uh, good way or strategy to mass onboard traditional users over to Web3 through eSports tournament and event. So people have opportunity to make money by playing the games in Web3 space, right? And there is a, a tournament tomorrow about uh, there will be played a lot of games. Yeah, so uh, to showcase our Gems platform, tomorrow we're going to have two esports events. One will be here uh, by Splinterland and the other game will be Dora 2. So we are actually doing a Web2 and Web3 tournament as well. Oh, that's amazing. So are you planning to expand from Singapore to other nations as well for Vietnam and for Indian market or for maybe some other markets for GameFi industry? Good question. Um, that's a good inside question that she's trying to ask me, right? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm, I'm here to share, right? Uh, in order to grow economically and able to scale and to reach out to more mass gamer, we believe right now where the largest number of gamer is actually in Asia. So we are continuing to grow in an SEA. In fact, we have grown in 14 countries right now, which is why we did our first esports tournament in Vietnam. And uh, having said that, I have done the tournament last month. And this month, we're going to do one in Singapore and one in Thailand. Amazing, man. Amazing. Yeah. So what do you think, like, how GameFi or like Jams is different from other GameFi projects? Yeah, so think of us, right? Um, because GameFi projects is a very single functional kind of a project they only focus they it's not they right the game itself that they're creating is a is normally a fixed general so uh like every games right you have, when you design a game you have to decide whether you want to design a, a better versus better game uh, or do you want to design an moba or do you want to design an rts or do you want to design an fps game kind right so because they are single functional what gems is really doing is that we are now seen as a marketing tool and platform to onboard all the game five projects through us we can help them to market through a large audiences of not just the users but 
a targeted users in this case, which is gamer. And what will this really help us? First, when we have partners, we have enough GameFi projects. The next thing that we need to do is to try to get more users on board. If we successfully do this over a period of time, then we really can become the next king of gaming platform. And we didn't dream to become there. We are working towards we that direction. To be there. Yes. So Andy, what do you think about traditional gaming is different from Web3 GameFi? Because a lot of people are interested in Web3 gaming because they get a chance to play to earn, because mm. they play games and they earn money. And Web3 is actually have more potential in the future. So do you really think like it will be famous in near future uh, than compared to traditional gaming? Yeah, I mean, um, if I were to put a Web2 game publisher versus a, a Game5 publisher, right? I really can do a, a very close sort analysis, right? But really the main differentiation between them both is monetization. Traditional games allow us to monetize through esports. Web3 games allow us to monetize through daily quests plus esports. So, and also one more thing, NFT. So there's really a lot of ways that you can monetize. And, and, and like I say, right, if I'm going to put clearly a pro and cons between the two, it's side by side. The only things that is, is different is the monetization. And people have more chance to, you know, closely connect with the game because of the NFTs, metaverse. They get more user experience yeah. when the ecosystem is built in the field. Yeah, and people are paying really attention to the metaverse right now. Uh, the reason is because uh, tech giants like Microsoft and Facebook is taking an advanced leap to try to provide something in the space of the metaverse world. And don't forget, right? They cannot say no to NFT already because the tech giants are already looking to create NFT, but out of their own capacity within their own company, right? They are not just ready to work with the other blockchain company, but I think sooner they were. But if they, but my question is, do they like tech giants like Microsoft and Facebook, do they really need to work with us? I think yes. The moment you do NFT, you are in blockchain. That's good, cool, man. Thank you so much. Andy, Thank you so much. Uh, giving your time. Sure. Great Thank you so much for hosting me once nice, again. Nice. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.